everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Korean Cinema Today, the podcast of the Korean Film Council. Here in Seoul, this is Pierce Conrad, and I'll be talking to you today about what's going on in the world of Korean cinema. Korean Cinema Today is a new podcast from Kobiz, which is the online side of the Korean Film Council. Uh, at the website koreanfilm.or.kr, you can keep up with the latest news on Korean film, not to mention find some great features, interviews, uh, box office reports, and much else besides. You can also find our webzine, which is also called Korean Cinema Today. Subscribe to our newsletter, which appears twice a month. And, of course, tune in again to this podcast. Uh, to find this podcast on iTunes, just search for our name, which is once again Korean Cinema Today. Uh, you can also find us on social media. On Twitter, you will find us at twitter.com slash koreanfilmbiz, that's biz, B-I-Z. Or on Facebook, you can find us at facebook.com slash kobiz.kofik, that's K-O-B-I-Z dot K-O-F-I-C. So this is Pierce Conran, your host. Uh, I am a correspondent for the Korean Film Council. I write a lot of the news and features that appear on the website. And I am also a Korean correspondent for international film site twitchfilm.com, as well as the founder of Korean film blog Modern Korean Cinema. Today we have the great pleasure of introducing director Lee Chol Ha, the director of the new documentary Hello Orchestra, which just opened in theaters. Uh, the film follows uh, acclaimed international violist Richard Young Jae O'Neill as he coaches a group of young multi-ethnic children uh, to take part in an orchestra. Um, director E also made the dark romance uh, Love Me Not in 2006, starring Kim Joo Hyuk. He's also known for making Korea's first interactive film, Story of Wine, in 2008. And he also made the Korean found footage horror, The Haunted House Project, in 2010. But before we have a chat with him, let's have a look at what's making waves in Korean film today. The 39th Seoul Independent Film Festival opened its doors on Thursday, November 28th. The opening film was Romance in Seoul, which is an omnibus feature uh, which includes shorts by directors such as Kim Tae-yong. In total, 117 films will be screening at the festival, which is the uh, foremost uh, event for independent films in Korea, including uh, among the films screening will be some of the Busan hits such as Han Gongju, Shuttlecock, Nonfiction Diary, uh, Pasca, 10 Minutes, uh, and Tui. Uh, other films from other festivals this year, such as My Place, which uh, won an audience award in Jeonju, um, or The Basement Satellite, which screened at DMZ Docks, will also be screening. Uh, the, well, there's also some other international independent films, such as uh, Fruitvale Station and Stray Dogs. Uh, the festival will run for 10 days uh, until next Thursday. Uh, we already spoke about The Fake last week when it uh, completed a one-week run in Los Angeles to qualify for the Oscars, to which it was submitted in the Best Animation category. More good news for Yeon Sang-ho's sophomore animation as it just picked up the Best Animation Prize in the Gijon International Film Festival in Spain. Uh, last year, Yi Sang-woo won the Best Director Award at the same festival for his film Barbie. The film uh, was just released in Korea and had a very successful first week. Looking uh, at the more awards, the 34th Blue Dragon Awards were held last week. Uh, Lee Junik's melodrama Hope uh, picked up the most awards. It picked up Best Film as well as two more awards for Best Script as well as for uh, Best Supporting Actress for Rami Ran. Now, it won three awards, uh, so it wasn't a big sweep because actually the awards awarded a lot of different films. It was a fairly fairly even uh, even, even haul for everybody. Uh, Snowpiercer picked up two of those awards. One was for director Bong Joon-ho. The other was for Best Art Design. Uh, New World's Hwang Jung-min walked away with Best Actor. Han Hyo-ju of Cold Eyes took Best Actress. And Best Supporting Actor went for to Lee Jong-jae of uh, The Face Reader. Uh, looking overseas, the currently 
currently the Black Knights Talon International Film Festival is taking place, and Estonia and South Korea signed a cooperation memorandum at the festival in their Industry industry Days market event. Um, This deal, this accord, will strengthen the potential for international collaboration between the two nations. And among the films that will be supported are the currently in production uh, The Painter, which is one of the new films by director Jung Kyu-hwan. More Korean films playing overseas. We have Han Gong-ju and The Stone were selected for the Marrakesh International Film Festival. Han Gong-ju will be taking part in the international competition section. Uh, last year, the Idonku's debut film, Fatal, which actually follows a fairly similar theme, was also um, programmed in that international competition. Uh, also from Busan is uh, Tui, which will be screening at the Dubai International Film Festival in their uh, renowned More Asia Africa competition section. Kim Kidok's Muebius is still making the rounds. It was just picked up by Film Movement's new genre label, which is called Ram Releasing, for U.S. distribution. It will be released next summer uh, on video on demand and in theaters. Another film they picked up was Hide and Seek, which will premiere on VOD in January and be released on DVD in March. Muebius was also selected for the Kerala International Film Festival, which will take place next month in India. Uh, lastly, uh, more news for Bong Joon-ho's Snowpiercer, as word has come out that it may, in fact, screen unaltered in English markets. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, f- a lot of talk about it being cut by the Weinstein Company uh, to make a more palatable version for for audiences in various English language markets. But director Bong, uh, speaking at a press conference during the Mar del Plata International Film Festival, which is currently holding a retrospective of his works uh, and for which he is serving on the international jury, mentioned that following a two-trip, two-week trip to New York, he, uh, the film may in fact not be uh, not be edited. This is unconfirmed for the moment, and we'll see what actually happens when the film is released, most likely early next year. Looking at the box office in Korea. Uh, Kwak Kyung Tuk, who was our guest last week on the first episode of Korean Cinema Today, his new film, Friend 2, repeated at the top of the charts. It had just shy of half a million admissions and is now just over 2.3 million. So it's doing well. It held its own against the big new film, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, which set records across the world but was unable to topple the local, local number one here in Korea. Also opening was the new omnibus film Marriage Blue, which had just over 300,000 admissions. Uh, The animation Cloudy for Chance of Meatballs 2 had a decent run of 250,000 admissions, also its first week. And Marvel uh, Marvel blockbuster Thor Dark World uh, went down the charts and had another 140, added another 160,000 to its total, which is rapidly approaching 3 million. I mentioned earlier that uh, Yon Sang Ho's animation The Thick had a good debut. It's open at number 10, which is uh, very impressive for an independent film. It's only screening in 76 theaters, and 6,500 people saw it over the weekend. Um, and so it's on a, on a good run, and that's almost twice, it's over twice as much as his debut did when it opened at the same time two years ago. lucky to have the director of Hello Orchestra in the studio with us, director Yi Chol Ha. So, Director Lee, thank you very much for joining us, joining us today. Lee, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's great mm-hmm. to meet you. Uh, so, you must be very busy these days. Your new film was just released here in Korean mm-hmm. theaters, mm-hmm. Um, Hello Orchestra, kind of an uplifting documentary with uh, Richard Yong Jae O'Neill, the famed mm-hmm. violinist. Mm-hmm. As he attempts to teach a group of uh, of young of uh, young young children in yeah, Korea, teenagers, yeah. yeah, who come from not just Korea though they're from they're mm. from uh, different country, yeah, yeah. and uh, they're so they're they're preparing to stage uh, um, a special show uh, which kind of serves as the climax of the right, film. Right, right. 
So where I may I ask where where did the concept for this documentary come from? The in Korea, the big broadcast company, the Munhwa Broadcast Company called MBC, they the last year they campaigned the multicultural family things in Korea. So mm, one woman, very smart one woman producer, uh, start making this documentary for the TV, for TV program, not a feature film. And after they st- uh, showing this TV documentary, some film industry people want to make a feature film version of this movie. So uh, it starts very slow for uh, for a year, but <coughs> people think this movie can be changed. Uh, good good change in Korean uh, society and Korean people. So the multicultural. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so then this this screened initially on television. Yes. In yeah. a different format. Mm. And so, with mm. Richard Young Jae O'Neill involved. Mm. The four four episodes. First they begin with two episodes but after the the show the people wants to see the more the story of them so they made uh, two more episode so totally four episode for the tv c- program and i made the one uh, one hour 30 minute version of this uh, four episode mm. Mm. So, so then you were brought in to edit this uh, this four part TV mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. into, as you say, a ninety minutes mm-hmm. feature. Um, how did you come to be involved in the project? Mm, six months ago, I just uh, got a call from my producer. Very, mm, she she is very familiar with me, and I we made uh, some other. Different documentary for the African people, mm. yeah. And she, the project was stopped uh, years ago. So she just approached me and uh, recommend this project to involve. So, but at that time I was busy for the different feature film. That I have to. Mm, I have to write a new scenario, screenplay, so I have no time. <coughs> but she persuaded me, like, um, this is very, very good project for Korean people. So I just, to, okay, uh, let's make it. So <laughs> <laughs> six months ago. Mm-hmm. So when I started this project, it, this program was already uh, made. So I have to start from very very beginning, like uh, two years ago. They, the footage is like uh, uh, seventy four gigabyte, like uh, four hundred four hundred hours wow. for the <laughs> long footage. It's a lot to go through. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was the beginning of this project. Mm. So then, uh, this show must have been uh, fairly popular if mm. they if the, if they wanted a, a feature version mm-hmm. um, to to be made as well. W- w- why do you think the show was popular? The popular means uh, uh, well liked by audiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. First, Korean Korean people right now the. Multicultural family. They 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 are very. Um, they wants to know more about the multicultural family. So not just to this program. Many program said about this issue in Korea. Mm. So uh, this TV show was released in uh, like a December, end of December. So the circumstance of the last of the mo- the year mm. they just want to help or 
listen the like a poor children or family mm. so that moment uh, many people like this TV show and then So Make we're seeing, um, actually, in cinema these mm. days, in the last few years, mm. there have been many films uh, that have dealt with immigration. From a few years back, we have uh, Banga Banga mm-hmm. uh, and, uh, <coughs> and Banjobi. And mm-hmm. uh, recently, we have festival hits like Yujite's directorial debut, yes, yes, Mayra yeah, Tima, yeah, um, Tangril's Scenery, mm-hmm. the new uh, film from Busan, Tui, mm-hmm. uh, as well as the very successful film, Punch, right, right, uh, right, with right. Kim Yun-suk from, from, mm-hmm. from two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, do you think this is, this is a trend that's, uh, that's getting bigger in, 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 in Korean film? Not just Korean film, not only Korean film, but also like an Asian trend, I think. Because, um, you know, in the U- European or American, the, c- the continent has a big, continent is big, and then they, the people get married with the an- other country people. It's a very common thing. But Asian, it's not common. In, in this Asian continent, especially in Korea, Korea people think uh, maybe my son wants to be wants to be married with uh, like a Japan or China or even American. Then I have to. Many people very. How can I say? Hate or. Some they what are we? They're a little wary of it. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah, a little conservative, yeah. maybe. Mm. The Asian people is very, very conservative, mm. Mm. Uh, in my opinion. But nowadays, uh, world is became small, mm-hmm. so time is very fast. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, it's very common thing, uh, international marriage in Asian people. So this time is very good and perfect timing for the uh, thinking about the multicultural. So yeah, mm-hmm. definitely, and we're mm-hmm. certainly mm-hmm. seeing a lot of that mm-hmm. on the big screen. Um, so uh, let's take a step back, and I want to talk a little bit about your career. Uh, mm-hmm. Now, this is, of course, not your first film. This is your fourth film. Uh, you've, uh, you've been around for a while. You, you, you were the assistant director of uh, Il Mare, a very yeah. famous film. Have you now, seen Il Mare? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I think many of our listeners have seen mm-hmm. it as well. It's a wonderful example mm-hmm. of, uh, of Korean uh, romance cinema. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, c- looking at your own films, you mm. got you had your debut as a as a feature director in two thousand and six Six. Uh, uh, with uh, Love Me Not. Love Me Not. Love and me so not. that was a kind of a, a dark romance, almost dark a bit romance. of a thriller. Yeah. And uh, then your your next film mm. uh, was uh, was an it was an interactive film, mm. uh, which we'll we'll come back and talk about. And then then you made a found footage horror film, the yeah, ha- the haunted yeah, house project. Yeah. And now you've you've uh, you've just signed an uplifting documentary. <laughs> so you've you've got a very varied career. Uh, let me ask you, what uh, what draws you to these different kinds of filmmaking all the time? Mm. Yes, it's a long story. Mm. <laughs> I've been made a lot of uh, commercials and music video when I was twenty, and I I like that. And people think I am very good for the commercial and very, you know, the <coughs> commercial visual. So when I debut with the first feature film, the producers and investors want to pick me up for the, you know, very spectacle, dark and romance, everything is combined <laughs> like a fusion movie style. And then something like a first interactive movie, um, story of wine, and also first found footage movie was shot in uh, 
Canon 5D. Mm. Mm. That was the first movie in Korea. Wow. So many producers want me to make uh, like a um, first thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Become your trademark. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but this Hello Orchestra is not that uh, start. I just, uh, I wanted to make, you know, the, I didn't shoot, but I really want to tell this story to audience. So it's very different. I've been, ten, I've been, this uh, film industry are 10 years, 10, mm -hmm. 15, 10 years. But I don't know the, what my color is. <laughs> I just want to make a movie. And I try to find my color until until I die. <laughs> 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 I I really like to making movie. Just to, mm, that's my hope to, yeah. Excellent. So mm -hmm. so speaking of making films, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you must be working on mm -hmm. some new projects. Mm -hmm. I I read um, a while ago about a story you were developing mm -hmm. about. Um, uh, a pilgrimage to Spain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, are you still working on that project? Yes, yes. I've been, I've been writing like a screenplay like f three years. <laughs> so, uh, it's a yeah road movie, mm, just like uh, Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a not just family, but more like family. Like, you know, many five people. Meet, met that uh, the road and Spain road and they work until the end. So, yeah, hmm. I like that kind of story, yeah. like a human humanity and uh, love and death. Mm. Hmm. So uh, now th 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 this won't be the first road mm. movie of Korea. There have been a few <laughs> in the past. Um, actually, uh, now that I think about it, there's uh, there's quite a few wonderful. Um, uh, road movies in Korea. One of my one of my favorite is um, the Road to Sampo, uh, Iman Hee's film. Sampo Kanan Gil. Ah, Sampo yeah. Kanan Gil. Great, great, great yeah, road movie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, even in recent years, we've had some good ones like um, mm. Sisters on the Road with uh, Kong Hyo Jin, uh, and and Rolling Home with a Bull. So there's been a lot of really really good ones. So I'm mm, sure we can be very excited for mm, another great mm, uh, Korean road movie. Yes, Road. Meaning it's a lot of things. I think mm -hmm. uh, like uh, basically road is the life. You know, the the we met many we meet many many things, not just people. So hmm. it's very good subject for the hmm, story. It certainly world. is. Yeah. It's a very cinematic, yeah. and and yeah. across world cinema, there's always been yeah. many Spain, great examples. Yeah, Spain road. Do do you know the how many kilometers in Spain road like a pilgrim? The uh, Camino de Santiago. No, I don't. 800 oh, kilometers wow. by walk. By, by foot, that's by, quite by a foot, lot. Yeah. How long does that usually take? Uh, a month. A month, a month okay. And more 40 days. And I I went, I've been there. Like, mm. I walk. So you, you, you yeah, did the yeah, whole pilgrimage? Yeah, yeah. Wow, how was that? Mm, no, it was exciting. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the producer, two producers, already been there then I I just uh, he heard about the story from them then I write down their story but I need to go there by myself mm. you know the when I just did something war when I write down this screenplay so I asked them to work by myself, they 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 were surprised. <laughs> really, <laughs> they suggested me like a, a week and stay there and then feel the you know the, the, the atmosphere. Road, yeah. atmosphere. But after the week, after a week, I I call them. I really want to walk this road, and I spend this thirty days. Wow, like, uh, mm, it's very dedicated research. Yeah, I, and I lose my weight. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I my 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 brain is very became very clean. Like mm. uh, mm, my 
my world is changing. Like, wow. You know, yeah. Not just to, you know, the, the Christian or something like a uh, uh, religion thing. Just to my health mm. and my mind is changing. Wow. Mm. So wh- wh- when did you go on this, uh, this pilgrimage? Mm, already two years two ago. Two years ago. Yeah, already. Well, that's um, so. You're you're still writing the script for this. Yeah, already finished his script. Mm. Uh, this is I need a third script, maybe third draft. Third okay. draft. Wow. Mm. So uh, you're you're hoping to go into into production soon with this? Mm, after to finish the investment. Mm. <laughs> sure, that's always the hardest part. <laughs> because uh, every production uh, plays in Spain, so it's not just you know. Mm, yeah. So, so you want to go shoot location there. things, so we need the uh, money. Yeah, and it's a bit yeah, more complicated. Yeah, sure. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be we'll be seeing your film very soon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, so again, going back to Hello Orchestra, mm-hmm. this is the first time you did um, a feature length documentary. Mm-hmm. Uh, given that before your films were all. Uh, uh, fiction films mm-hmm. that required a lot of planning. Mm. Um, w- was this a, was this a more kind of a, a, as a f- more free experience? How was that for you as a director? Mm. Yes, uh, was a very interesting experience for me because uh, I've been sh- I haven't not shoot this film. I just to uh, watch it and pick up the good good. Uh, look, uh, good footage mm-hmm. and uh, edit it for like uh, three months. So there's many, many long uh, shooting footage, but I I played like um, puzzle. You know, I have a two two version of this Hello Orchestra. First is mm, Yongje O'Neill story, mm-hmm. and second. Is a uh, children's mm. orchestra story, and I like the first one, the Yongje O'Neill story, because it's very emotional and very deep story. But uh, I I went too deep about this Yongje O'Neill story. So, but at uh, the time I wake woke up, they're like, ah, this is the not Yongje O'Neill story. This is <laughs> orchestra story. So. <laughs> I changed my mind mm, and choose second one. Uh, this is the orchestra and how the children, what is the children's conflict and uh, why they want to be an orchestra member and how they uh, success mm-hmm. for the uh, first <coughs> concert. And then put Youngjae O'Neill's change it mm. and their his story yeah. you, you combine and them very combine well and yeah. then I raised the all uh, all how can I say OST like a scoring soundtrack yeah. soundtrack and then narration mm. yeah, like a no line yeah so just to children's uh and talking, talking, and Yongje O'Neill story. Mm. That's it. So I just uh, made a very mm, different style of uh, editing. So my editor is very famous uh, oh, for okay. the Solgung uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, uh, so this is a, a St- Stephen M. Stephen. Chen? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> 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 he said, uh, "This is very." Dangerous editing. So, um, but yeah, he liked. Finally, he liked this my style. So mm. he understood uh, what I want. So, mm. well, it certainly seems like it worked very well. Uh, mm. uh, I was I was certainly very moved by it, and I, th- mm. I know that many audiences who have seen mm. it so far have been mm. similarly moved by the film. Um, so uh, I just want to ask you two more questions. Uh, one is, so there's a, a lot of documentaries being made in Korea these days. Right. More and more, we're seeing them get out a little bit on the global stage, but still mm. not not very, very much. Mm. Um, do, do, do you think that, uh, that uh, the documentary scene is, is healthy in, in Korea? Mm, 
this is about the money in Korean film industry. Uh, documentary is very, very important for the our our life. You know, it's it's uh, it's not just a story. It it just the truth. Like uh, yeah, you know the. Somebody made documentary and edited it. It's maybe it's not. It may not true, but based on truth, right? So many documentary has to made to be made uh, in film industry, and that can be make health film industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm, especially. Uh, film school in Korea, the professor uh, encouraged to student to make uh, many documentary for the first, you know, the training of the film film school. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's the first issue, and second was the money. The many company uh, has to, you know, start to support mm, documentary production or you know. I mean, the not invest, it support, and give them to make a free mm, the, the issue in Korea. The yeah. tools to kind to of yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So um, what, uh, are there any documentaries, uh, mm. recent Korean documentaries, that you've, you've liked very much? Mm, I, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> 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 I like the EBS documentary film festival. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I like very much. And I I I did. I I when I was a film school student, I made a lot of documentary film mm. for the America or Japan or Korea. Oh wow. So, yeah. I haven't I haven't made the Japanese gun story. How they how they came from the gun. Gun, yeah. Yeah, the hmm and then I, I made the uh, Vietnam, the war uh, 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 in America. Sure. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I was the mm, that kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so then, uh, Hello Orchestra is not your your first time at bat, as we would say, uh, yeah, baseball yeah, yeah. terminology. Mm. Um, now let me ask you one final question. Mm. Uh, we'd love to ask our guests: uh, What are your some of your favorite Korean films? Um, recently, I how can I say Paskun? Ah, uh, Bleak Night. Bleak Night. Mm. Bleak Night. I like that movie because uh, the story about high teen, mm. the high school student. Mm, my my goal of m- making film is for the young people. You know, young people can could change it. This Korea, you know. So I I really want to listen their 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 story. You know, what they want, what they what they think for the future. So, uh, not just uh, uh, Spain wrote, but also I, I wrote, I wrote, I write down the the many high teen story for the next movie. Mm. Mm. I have already two screenplay for wow. the high teen story. So, mm. that's why I like uh, Bleak Night. Yeah. Body, it's a great film. Yeah, yeah, fav- my favorite film. Great film. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's all the time we have here. Um, mm. direct- Director Lee, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Mm. Uh, this is a, this has been a great a great interview. Um, and let me just uh, so your film now is currently out in theaters in Korea. Yes. Hello cool. Orchestra. Uh, it is also available for uh, subscribers to the COBIS, our online screening service. Mm. If you're a film professional and are part of a, our service, you can find it there in the uh, BIF section. Of course, Hello Orchestra had its mm. world premiere at the BIF International Film Festival. Yes. So, uh, Dr. Lee, thank you again very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.
for every episode of Korean Cinema Today, we would like to introduce a film in our In Focus section. Last week, we introduced the film Nonfiction Diary. Uh, this week, we'll be looking at Tui. Um, now, Tui, I chose this film because I felt it was in keeping with uh, the interview, which was about Hello Orchestra. Um, a film about uh, multi-ethnic children in Korea. Now, Tui is also a film that deals with immigration, which has been a hot topic these days in Korea. It deals with a uh, Vietnamese woman who's been who gets married to a Korean man in a provincial part of Korea. Her husband dies under mysterious circumstances, and she tries to find out what happened. But she's uh, pushed back at every turn by the locals, who are less than keen at her snooping around. Tui is the um, first uh, film of director Kim Jae-han, or rather I should say the first complete film of the director. He has an unfinished uh, debut, which is called Silent Man, which he made in 2011. The film premiered in the Korean Cinema Today vision section of the Busan International Film Festival, where it was very well received by local and foreign audiences. Um, uh, Spectators abroad will have a chance to see it for the first time in Dubai, as it has been recently invited to the More Asia Africa competition, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, so this is a film dealing with immigration, a hot topic in Korean film these days, uh, just even at Busan, we had a few films already. We had uh, Changryul's uh, documentary Scenery, which was a feature-length version of Over There, which is a short part of the uh, Jeonju Digital Project, the Jeonju International Film Festival this year. Last year, we had Yuji Tez, uh, the actor of Old Boy, his directorial debut, My Ratama, uh, the actress of which actually just picked up the Best New Actress Award at the uh, Blue Dragon Awards. And uh, other recent immigration films include Banga Banga, Bandobi, and uh, Pak Kyung's Gary Bong, also a Jeonju film. But most successful among them all has been the film Punch from two years ago, which had around 5 million admissions uh, and stars uh, big Korean actor Kim Myun Suk. Well, that's it for everything today. So thank you very much for joining us for our second episode of Korean Cinema Today. Please be sure to just subscribe again by finding Korean Cinema Today on iTunes. And make sure to check back at koreanfilm.or.kr to find out what's going on in the world of Korean film. That's it for this week. And tune in again next time for the latest in Korean film.